All right, guys, so we're back for some more Dokkan. Now, there was uh, quite a big update on JP Dokkan last night slash this morning. Uh, actually, to be honest, if I go over here and we just open up uh, DBZ space, we'll actually see that uh, JP is actually in maintenance right now. Uh, there's several different issues. Uh, one problem is that the Apple, uh, the iOS, like, App Store is absolute trash since they updated to the new app. And I know uh, they were having problems getting Apple to actually approve the updates. That's why some people were having trouble uh, actually getting into JP Dokkan earlier today or even, you know, being able to play the game and why it was in extended maintenance. I know a similar problem was also the case for uh, JP Naruto Blazing because Apple, the App Store, is just really, really bad right now. And it's very difficult. Sometimes the updates don't show up. Like, I've had to delete uh, several apps and actually re-download them. So make sure you've got those transfer codes, the Facebook login, all of that safe because Apple is messing up big time right now. So, we have some patch notes, courtesy of Koala-san over on the Dokkan sub. Now listen, everyone, you know, I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not taking shots at anyone, you know, just, I'm going to say this. So many of us are using so much info from the Dokkan sub Yo, we got to, to support them. You know, make sure you're subbed to the Dokkan subreddit. Uh, you got to gotta show love for them because Koala-san, all these cool cats over here, they give us a lot of relevant info. And it would be very difficult to play JP Dokkan if it wasn't for the, the uh, subreddit. So definitely got to give them shout outs. So, all right, let's take a look at some of these patch notes, right? So the Extreme Z Battle events have been added. Now, I can't actually show a picture of what this is like because, again, the game is in uh, maintenance. I guess, damn, if only I had taken a screenshot. Actually, hang on. Oh, I wow. That's lucky. I actually did happen to have a screenshot. So if we take a look here, uh, I believe this is not on global yet, but we have these columns, right? This left column, this is story events. So the Bio Broly event. The Saiyan Saga event, the Great Saiyan Man event, Metal Cooler, stuff like that goes in there, as well as Super Strike events, you know, Chilled, King Vegeta, Mecha Frieza, King Cold, all of those are in there. And also on the left side is something like the uh, the Candy Vegito Majin Buu event is over there, as well as the Hero and Villain Extermination events. Now this second column right here, this is of course the, you know, the Starter Goku event, the uh, Epic Showdown, the Metal events are here, the, uh, um, whatchamacallit, the Training Item, Korin's Tower is here, the Big Bucks Challenge, the Hercule uh, Zenny thing is here. All of the daily events, the Masaroshi event to get medals, the Hercule event to get the Zenny statues where you take the World Tournament category leader team, the Orb events, and the Mr. Popo daily event are all in this category right here. This third category, this is all of the Dokkan events. So all Dokkan events go over here, uh, Boss Rush is over here, the LR Frieza and LR uh, Goku events are over here, as well as Super Battle Road are all in this third column. Now there is a new fourth column for the Z Awakening Battle events. Unfortunately, we're not actually able to access it quite yet. Uh, so that is unfortunate. Yeah, and uh, Extreme Z Awakening, there's more info that we're going to be getting soon. Uh, this is something interesting. Uh, I believe I probably could actually go to Twitter for this. Hang on. Uh, let me head over to Twitter real fast just to show this. Okay, right here. Okay. So, uh, they made this slight change where no longer max level units will say max. It now has their level and it's yellow if they're a max level. So, this was a screenshot I took of the, uh, Kefla or Kefla. I, people get really upset. Kefla, Kefla, it's the same fucking thing. It's not a big deal. But... This is her category. Uh, it's basically any characters that are Patara fusions or who are wearing the Patara earrings but eventually fuse. So, like, Z-Sword Gohan is not in here. Uh, Demigra is not in here. Toa is not in here. Grand Kaioshin, uh, you know, Supreme Kai's master, is not in here. But Zamasu... Goku Black are in here because they eventually do fuse. I guess that's the justification they went with it, which it is consistent. 
I only care about these categories when they're consistent. Like, I, I have a big problem with uh, Kid Chi-Chi being added to, like, the World Tournament category. That is dumb because she had no part of the tournament whatsoever. Like, that's foolishness. But the Patara category seems pretty legit to me. But also notice how, you know, my LR Goku Black is max level, but it's just 150 now with yellow. Uh, same with the TURs. You know, it's 120 now with the yellow. Uh, so that is a new update that happened as well. Uh, some descriptions for certain characters like Vegito Blue and stuff have been altered slightly to adapt to the new, uh, extreme battle, you know, Z stuff. And also like to better describe, you know, extreme or super type characters, you know, heroes or villains. Now this is an interesting change. I didn't see this one coming. So gold capsules in Awakening Metal stages are now only either going to be the metal for that type or a Supreme or Old Kai metal. Uh, I run these Awakening Metal stages daily because, again, you know, my JP account, it's, I wouldn't call it new anymore, but I'm still catching up to where I was with Global and catching up to a lot of other, you know, Dokkan YouTubers, you know, getting my uh, super attack levels high and stuff. So I'm constantly farming Awakening Metal stages because a great place to get Awakening Metals is a world tournament, and there's been basically one since I started playing JP Dokkan, so haven't been able to get a lot of uh, medals there. Uh, I did see people... Uh, in the comments here, we're talking about how they like this change because it made it unnecessarily difficult to grind medals for LR Broly. But, I mean, I have, like, over 250 of those Kai medals of every type. So, if I pull LR Broly, I'm good with the medals. I'll need to farm out a little bit of Zenny, but that's not an issue because you can get nearly 1 million per run. Usually, the average run is about 500,000 Zenny from the uh, Hercule Big Bucks Challenge, which is available on the weekends. So, literally, you just sit there the whole day and grind, and you can get as much Zenny as you want to. It's just a very tedious grind. Uh, so, there's some bug fixes, some UI changes. Uh, we have a bunch of info with Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which we'll go over in a second here. And we also got 15 Dragon Stones. Now, I okay, I can't remember if I accepted my login gifts yesterday or not. But I noticed that my login gifts from yesterday were in my gift box as well. Again, I can't confirm that we got double the login bonuses. I think we might have, though, uh, just in case people like Bandai was worried that because of the App Store problems, they you know the game was stuck in maintenance, they weren't going to have people miss their login streaks because of an issue. So I think they gave out the login rewards twice for... Uh, the 14th. I can't confirm that, though. I, I, I would need to, to talk to someone else. Um, but at the very minimum, we got 15 Dragon Stones, although I had 16 in my box, so I don't know. Um, there is this uh, little image right here, but that's this right here, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, okay, so Super Saiyan 3 AGL Goku, right? Uh, we were thinking that, you know, this stream Z Awakening is probably going to be pretty cool. Uh, might be a nice, decent size buff to some units, maybe raise their viability a little bit. But, I mean, from what we're seeing, these buffs are, like, beyond substantial. Like, okay, I I'm doing some basic, like, preliminary calculations, and it's like, I think a 100% Super Saiyan 3 Goku would have nearly the highest attack in the game. Like, even more so or on the same level as, like, an LR Goku Black. Like, it's insanity. We'll, 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 let's, let's go ahead and take a look. So, here we go. So, here's all the different uh, Extreme Z Awakenings you could do and how uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku will change based on these Z Awakenings. Like, notice, the first one will get you five extra levels. Then, the next one gets you an extra super attack level. And we keep going. Now, here at the fifth one, his leader skill changes. You know what I should have done? Shit. Field trip, kids. I'm sorry. You know what? Y'all can just, you know, in the comments, just call me a scrub. It's, I, I messed up. There's one more thing I should have had. before. When I make these update videos, uh, I like to prepare ahead of time so I have all the relevant links that I need, like the, the info I'm going to talk about, prepare for these videos, and I didn't have this up. I, I fucked. I, listen, I apologize for wasting those 10 seconds right there. I'm not actually playing, dude. I, I, I'm serious, by the way. But all right, so uh, Goku, his leader skill is AGL type key plus three and attack 3,000. Now, uh, does that look like a significant increase? Because it certainly is. It changes it to Super Vegito's leader skill. That's big. I mean, you know, obviously you're probably not going to run this guy as a leader, but things like that are things that are very helpful 
for Bandai and Dokkan Battle to do because, you know, not everyone has every unit. Some people have certain units. Some people don't have any AGL leaders at all except for this guy. So, again, th this, this is very helpful. Like, that, that is a nice change. Now, we keep going. And here, at the seventh awakening, his passive changes. So, let's take a look what his passive is right now. Right now, it's attack 100% for seven turns from the start of turn. Gotcha. So, it'll change to, at the start of turn, own defense 70% up. So, it looks to me like that is permanent. He just now has 70% defense. You know what would make him... What would fucking make him really good in now is Super Battle Road. This guy will be fantastic for Super Battle Road. And again... He does still have his restriction, and also from the start of turn for seven turns, attack 120% up. Now, people are going to say, well, truth, I mean, come on, Super Battle Road, that takes a lot longer than seven turns. Yes, but this dude is going to be hitting so fucking hard, you should be able to get maybe two attacks, plus the 70% defense he's going to have. He's going to be able to block quite nicely, because uh, you need defense in Super Battle Road. And again, one or two hits from this guy is going to be doing significant damage even in Super Battle Road. So let's go ahead and down here. So, also, by the way, it looks like his super attack goes up to immense. So he gets immense and he lowers defense greatly. So it goes from supreme and lowers defense to immense and greatly lowers defense. Again, huge change right there. And of course... Uh, okay, that's when you get his super attack to 15 upgrades. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That makes a lot of sense right there. That is a big, substantial buff, guys. Now, okay, so koala says he's not 100% sure about this, right? These appear to be his upgraded stats. Now, if we take a look at what his stats are normally, 8,600 attack, 4,600 defense, 9,500 uh, health. I mean... Do y'all see this number right here? At his max level, his attack is 15,000. Now, do y'all remember me talking about him possibly getting more attack than LR Goku Black on that same level? Right here. He has an S rank uh, potential system, potential grid, where he's going to get an additional fucking 7,000 attack. So if you have this guy 100% in the dupe system, he's literally going to have LR level attack. Like, this dude, I, I don't, I'm not going to say that he's going to hit harder than, like, Int Gogeta or the LRs or something like that, but he should be at that level right below. Like, he's going to have immense, he's going to have LR fucking attack, he's giving himself 120%, which, by the way, is the same number that LR Trunks gets, that's the same number that uh, SCR Ultimate Gohan gets. This is insane! <laughs> now... Koala-san does say he's not 100% sure that these are the exact stats, but bro, his attack is going to push 20k? What? His defense? Look at that defense, son. And then he's getting another 7,000 on top of that? His defense is going to be 15,000? Like, this man is literally has LR stats. Like, this is in crazy, 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 crazy. So, here's the one thing, though, that I'm not seeing a lot of people talk about. This is the screen that this is live right now in JP Dokkan. Three of these medals to upgrade him. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I actually have the data download. Uh, shout out to Mai over here. Uh, talking about Keflo was added, new missions. But here we go. The medals, right? Let's take a look at these. Uh, wait, no, gold, rainbow. Okay, and I'm not going to need the rest of this. I'll talk about the banner in a second. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> when you awaken with one of these, 100K. 200k, 300k, 400k. You guys see what I'm getting at here? And this is three of the bronze medals, by the way. So it is going to cost millions of Zenny to uh, Extreme Z Awaken this guy. Again, we're talking probably upwards of 20 million or so. So you guys are going to want to be aware of this. Like, you're going to need to start grinding out Zenny if you really want this guy to be, you know as powerful as he can be, but this, this is nuts, this guy is like, he has LR stats, bro, I, I just can't, I can't believe that, now, last thing, so we went over him, how amazing he is, uh, Kefla is also out on JP Dokkan right now, uh, it's actually very interesting, this is not 
a Dokkan Fest banner, and Kefla is not a Dokkan Fest exclusive. She's not. She appears to be like Mass Saiyan, uh, but it's very odd because obviously her leader skill is like, it's literally as good as a Dokkan Fest exclusive right now. Like the Patara category and then, you know, the HP attack and defense, like she has the same leader skill as Ultra Instinct Goku, except Ultra Instinct Goku also has intelligence units in his leader skill, whereas uh, Kefla or Kafla here is only the Patara units, but she is not a Dokkan Fest exclusive, which means she should be in other banners, which means presumably in the future she'll be like in the World Tournament GSSR banner and stuff. Crazy. Also, this banner is GSSR right here, right here. You are guaranteed to get a featured uh, SSR at the end of this banner, and there's only five effing units in here. Bro, they have never made a good card this easy to get. It is so easy to get her. I am nervous as hell right now because they put this character on a platter for us to get easily. On Global right now, they just released a banner. Uh, it's 15 stones per multi-summon and you get 5 units. And, you know, they're trying to drain our stones in both versions, making me thinking something big might be coming soon to both versions. I just... For them to put this explicit of trap banners out here, I don't trust Bandai. Sorry. Sorry. Akatsuki, Bandai, don't care. You will never get my trust. So I'm very suspicious, very skeptical, but at the same time, I will be summoning until I get her. I may go for one dupe or so, because she's pretty good. I do want to run the Potara category team, even though it basically is just the uh, God category team. The teams are so similar, bro. It's almost exactly the same. Uh, also, the LRs are in this banner, of course, because it is uh, like a, a normal... This is basically like the Kale and Khalifa banner. That's what this is, except now it's it's their fusion, uh, Kefla. But, of course, you know, you can't get the LRs with the featured uh, pulls. I would show you, but for some reason, the uh, normal SSR list is not coming up here. Uh, I, I promise you that the LRs are in it. I've seen se several people have tweeted me that the LRs are in the banner. But there you go, guys. Uh, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Goku is going to hit so hard. Kefla is out. Good times all around for JP Dokkan and presumably for Global soon as well. I mean, all of this stuff will be coming to Global sooner rather than later. So thanks for watching, guys, and later.